What's going on guys? It's MC back here with another episode of Factions on the Nebula Planet. We are here at our base, just grinding up some XP. We're at level 36. So in this episode, I'm kinda gonna be going over with you guys how I have made like my money, even though I don't have very much money compared to some people. I think I have a pretty good amount. It's kinda like the early season, but as I've noticed, we're starting to fall behind the other factions that, like, everyone in their faction are, like, playing daily, putting in the work, <clears throat> and, like, really trying really hard. But, like, F-Top, you see that people are above 100 million, and we're sitting not even on F-Top 2, but on F-Top 3 with 4 million dollars, which is pretty disappointing, but... Like, that's sometimes just how factions goes. If your faction isn't full and completely active, you're going to start falling behind. Especially in a, such a short time span, like, like world, realm, idea type thing. And, like, with that, I think I'm going to start, like, to, like, play daily and record daily and upload, like, every, uh, like, every day that I'm not uploading regular factions. Because... We really have to catch up, but as you guys may notice, something's a little bit different on my screen right now, and that is that I'm no longer modded. I'm no longer modded on this planet or on Pleb Planet because Fade, along with a few others in the faction, think that I would inside us, even though I found the faction, I helped build the bases, I worked like with the faction for like months. But they, they believe that I incited, so they're taking away, like, all my rights, everything like that. On the Pleb Planet, they won't even give me access to the inside of the base, which is pretty disappointing. So, I'm kind of sitting at a spot where I can't do much on, like, factions. And I can't even, like, put in the spawners I have into this base. And, like, I can't even take out my spawners if I wanted to leave. Like, it's kind of putting me in a really bad place here, but... Fade doesn't really care, and I, I like, it's really starting to grind my gears. It's, like, pushing me past the point where I just let it go. Like, I, I let it go for, like, a couple of weeks when, like, we had the string of a bunch of insides. I was like, okay, he's got to make sure everyone's, like, legit. I'm fine with that. If, like, he's doing it to me, he's doing it to everyone. But he didn't do it to everyone. Like, he was pretty much, like, just calling me out, which was really, like, just pissing me off. And, like, he... Like, people that joined, like, midway through this season on Pleb Planet, he's acting like they have zero chance of inciting. And, like, me, who, like, found the faction on Ice Planet, played with it through Forgotten Planet, and then was with it since the start of Pleb Planet. He's acting like I would inside us, which is really disappointing. So I kind of gave him an ultimatum about, like, either, like, me or, like, I would have to, like, leave the faction i'll just start on my own because like honestly not being able to do anything with a base or like play inside like a faction like they're pretty much making it so that all you could do is like go to envoys and pvp and stuff it's really like annoying and like i don't want to play factions like that i want to play factions like we used to where like we all like work together message or real name under message under 350k because <laughs> that's all the money i have but like honestly i hate not being able to play factions like because i can't do anything with united so if they're not gonna let me do anything i'd rather like them tell me now and i'll go and start off on my own faction and like be on my own like i kind of did in forgotten when like Robert like created the new base and like I was just coming home from vacation and like I was like you know what if I like, can't do anything for a while I'll just go and like start my own faction like build up a base so I'm kind of thinking about doing that on this planet and on blood planet I'll, I might end up having to do that also that that planet I'm not sure when it's gonna end because Preston is so far behind than Wolf because like Preston has been on like eight or nine days whenever he goes on vacation he doesn't play unlike rob which is a little bit disappointing especially because we're team preston but hey we're just gonna have to wait and see and like guys do not worry even if i end up like leaving united because like if they decide that they would rather just have me leave 
I'm not gonna be enemies to them. I'm not like going against them or anything. I'm still gonna be Team Preston. I'm still gonna be like on their side. I just won't be in their faction, which is a little bit disappointing. But a hey, that might not happen. I might end up getting my reward, uh, or, like getting my rights back, and like being like able to do whatever I want again. Like when it comes to like being able to like play spawners, grind, help build bases and such. But a hey, we're just gonna have to wait and see on that. And we have another level 30. I wasn't even looking at that. I kind of just rambling on, talking to you guys about what's going on on, like, both planets with me and United. And kind of, like, just grinding, I guess. Fortune 3, that's not bad. I can sell that for a couple, like, K. Like, I can usually sell it for around, like, 5K. For 999. Post it. Because it's Fortune 3, and people that are mining diamonds, they need Fortune 3. Just like Silk Touch, I can usually sell for between 60 and 75k, which is a really nice profit. I've only sold like four or five of those. Then I buy stuff like spawners and like like junk gear that I can get for like a couple of thousands of coins and hoppers and such. We still can do our kit starter. I forgot about that. And then we can toss the gear into our PVs. Which is a nice thing. I'm so surprised that I'm actually able to like do this all one cut. Which is nice. Toss all the rest into this PV. And then we can dump all the miscellaneous items into here. But and that should do it for this clip. I'll get back to you guys when I get to level 30 again. Or when an envoy happens. Let's hop into that. Okay guys, we are back. We have the level 30 enchant. We're going to toss on this pickaxe, and we got fortune 2. Not too good, but I'll get back to you guys when the next envoy happens, which is a little ways away. So I think I'll probably be able to get another 30 enchant in. So let's just hop into the next 30 or level 30 enchant. Okay, guys, we are here again with another level 30 enchant. Again, not so much. Pretty disappointing. We're not really feeling the luck right now. But Envoy is probably going to be coming up pretty soon, so I'll get ready for that and show you that when it happens. Guys, Envoy just happened. It was a 30-minute wait, but it finally just happened, and let's see if we can snag up a couple of chests. I see one. Do oh, I see a second? Okay, we got the first. We got the second. I see a third. I see someone else going for the third, though. Let's snag it and dip. To see if we can find any more while we're running. Pretty sure that's a truce. There's another truce. Are there none more over here? I don't think. Let's keep on checking. But I think the envoy gave us three chests. We'll check what we get once we get out of here because I do not want to get killed again, especially after an envoy. Let's go spawn. Well, that was not bad. We got three, three chests. What's a 30 minute wait? So I was waiting for like 20 minutes for the envoy to happen. Or like, no, more like 10 minutes for the envoy to happen. Didn't really get anything good. Mostly just like salvage gear. But I, at least we had the chance to get something good. And let's just hop back into grinding. Okay, guys, we have just gotten up to level 30 again. Oh, God, grab some pickaxe to enchant. We have just gotten up to level 30 again. Can we get a silk touch? Yes, we got a silk touch. The best possible silk touch you can actually get, which is efficiency 4 and breaking 3. Let's go back to FO, where the case fires are at. H cell. Let's toss it up there for 70,000 just to see if it sells. I'm willing to re reduce my prices a little bit, just try and get some money in. See if I can buy some spawners because buying spawners is like a, a lot of work. I feel like I rarely get as lucky as I did last episode when I go down and mine. Sometimes I don't even find the cave system. But last last episode I did amazing. Like we found like what was it like five or six spawners I think. Yeah, like six spawners all like at once, which was dope. But I'll oh, keck check back to you guys once I get another level 30 okay guys we have just gone to level 30 again and we'll enchant it nope probably the worst enchant you get only in breaking three was pop back to that home and let's see 
what we get on the next level 30. And as you guys can see right there, I just bought a blaze spawner for 320k. It's a solid like 70k in savings because I know we're eventually going to be setting up a blaze farm sooner or later if I'm still in United. If not, I'll probably be setting one up on my own in my own base that I eventually build if I leave. Hopefully I don't have to though. I, I would love to just go back to the way things usually are. But just in case, just in case, we now have a blaze spawner. I'm going to keep on grinding up till we get level 30 and we can see what we get on that next pickaxe. Okay guys, we're back here at shop. Another level 30 in 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. The biggest derp ever. Oh, I'm breaking 3. That was my bad, guys. But I did lower the diamond pickaxe to so touch to 60k. Just because that's around the lower end of the spectrum of what I sell them for. And it sold pretty quickly. So, GG for them. And now so touch. I'll take my balance all the way back up to 184k, even though I just bought that one blaze spawner. But I guess we can try and get another hook touch and then sell it by the end of this episode. Okay, guys, so we got up to level 30. It was pretty fast because of messing up last time. But in 3, 2, 1, boom. And we got only efficiency 4. Pretty bad. Envoy sitting at 2 minutes. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it without even realizing. That's disappointing. I was planning on going to the next one, but I guess we might as well do a few more silk touches until we're out of these last two pickaxes. And if an envoy doesn't happen, like, before then or is, like, nearing at that point, then I guess we'll end off the episode. But we'll just have to wait and see, and let's grind up to the next level 30. Okay, guys, we're back. We can get another level 30, and it is... I'm um, breaking three, fortune two. The past four pickaxes we got have just been just horrible, just horrible. But we'll see if we can get another one, and then we'll probably camp for the next envoy because it's it's like about to get to double digits. So let's hop into that next level 30. Okay, guys, so we're back here with the last pickaxe of this episode. Now we're gonna do one last envoy and then end it off. But what will we get in three, two, one, boom? And we got Silk Touch with Efficiency 4 and I'm Breaking 3. Final Pickaxe, perfect way to end off the enchanting. Let's list that up in H for 70k. If it sells, if it sells. If it doesn't, we'll lower it. But now, let's get prepped for the Envoy. And I'll cut to it once it starts. Let's hop into that. Okay, guys. I was just waiting here for the Envoy. We're sitting at 30 minutes. And I was like, you know what? Let's see if I can make profit on that blaze farm because I've been seeing them go into age for less than 375. So I was like, let me just post mine up for 375. If it sells, I made some profit. If it doesn't, then I still have the blaze spawner. But now we're at half a million dollars, and we still have our silk touch. Oh, did our silk touch not sell? It didn't sell yet. But we'll repost that age sells 65. And right now we're sitting at just over half a million dollars. And we made pretty much all that this episode. Well, I mean most of it this episode. We started off at like 200k. So we made like 300k alone. Probably gonna be 400k by the end of this episode. And the Envoy should be coming up anytime now. But I'll click or like skip to that right like when it happens. So let's go to that. Okay guys, so I tried to hop down early. Because I felt like Envoy is coming up. This guy keeps trying to get me in combat. I really don't like it. I'm just trying to trying to go to the envoy. Why are you trying to fight me? I know he could probably easily pop me really quickly. Try and get my gears boots. D no. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit up an envoy. So I guess I'll just keep running away. Hopefully we can get away from him and stay within the war zone. So I can hopefully get some chests when the envoy comes around. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm shocked it still hasn't happened yet. 34 minutes. The two times I've waited for an envoy, it's been like 30 plus minutes. But that one time when I wasn't looking, it was like a 15 minute envoy. A little bit depressing, but hey, it happens. But now we're just going to have to wait and see when the envoy starts. We're probably just going to hit up this area. This is where I like to hit up. Because most people go for the flat areas of the desert. But like, that means there are less people like competing with me for the mountainy chest. I only have springs one though. If I had higher springs, it'd be nice because then I'd be able to like jump over like the hills and such. But I don't, so we're just gonna have to deal with it and just try and 
find some more chests, but let's see if it takes very much longer. Okay, guys, an envoy just happened. As you can see, everyone's jumping down from the hills because everyone wants to hit up this envoy. Yeah, I did see a chest up here. Okay, sweet. <gasps> Got an ultimate chest, guys. Let's just toss this in PV4 while we still get the chance. Oh, yes, drunk four helmet. Oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. Godly envoy. Let's see if we can get another chest, though, because that'd be dope if we get, like, a double ultimate chest. I see some fire over here. I don't see any more chests. There are so many people waiting at the warps because of how long it took for the envoy to happen. So everyone knew it was about to happen. But that's dope that we were able to land the pearl. I see someone I want to get out, so let's just TP out. Don't really want to get in a PvP fight. Both of us are just looking at each other. Neither of us are looking to get in a fight. Oh, and I got the TP off. But let's look at what we got. A drunk four helm. A creeper on that chest plate's not that good. Just a regular uh, creeper though. That's dope. Let's item this in chat. GG envoy. Because that's dope. We got a drunk four helmet. Probably gonna be able to sell that for a couple hundred K, I would guess, because drunk four is so sought after. But chest plate might sell for like 15k tops. Creepers, creeper egg we can keep for if we eventually get into a raid. But I don't know. I might just sell it. It really comes down to like if we can find a raid or not soon. But that should do it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy watching me try and make some money, get as many silk touches as we could, and hit up these two envoys. We did amazing, great envoy for this one, drunk for help. But that should do it, and I'll check you guys next time. Peace.